talking for Chicago in 22, go. Yes, you can tell because I'm not wearing a Santa hat anymore. Hi, um, we are still looking at Chicago for 2022. Uh, we have started talking with some hotels, notably the uh, Hilton and Towers. Um, we would also like to note that the new Marriott Marquis Chicago actually has a website now, uh, which is going to be attached to McCormick Place, which is the world's larger, largest one in North America convention center, I believe. Um, and the Marriott will open in 2017. It's got 1,206 guest rooms. Um, it's 39 stories tall, 90,000 square feet of meeting space. And again, it is connected to McCormick. So we can't tell you much more than that right now, Helen, uh, but we are still looking. Okay. All right. Unless you want to add. I don't want to add anything. I'm up here. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Having to, having to talk to every hotel, we can now no longer officially be anything but positive about the Hyatt, so suck it. All right. Um, the, anybody else for 22? Okay, anybody for 23? Again, anybody else for 23? We're starting over here. 23 over here. Oh, God, no. That's like gasoline and napalm. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And a match. <laughs> 23. Okay, we got rid of the match. We might live. Okay. 2023 psychotic bid from hell, go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we were, myself and Emily were contacted during the week by uh, Alain Jardy, who is uh, part of the Worldcon in France bid and he's asked us to read out a letter to you. I don't know if you know but I've lived for a total of six years in, in France and in Belgium and Geneva, uh, Switzerland so I'll try and do this justice. Dear member of Smofcon 33, Worldcon in France is a non-profit organization created at the end of the year 2014 with the aim of organizing the first French science fiction Worldcon targeting 2023 for that event. Indeed, in 75 years of history, no Worldcon has ever been hosted in a French, French city, although France stands clearly as one of the main origins of modern science fiction. Just think of Jules Verne, just think of Hugo Gansbach. Okay, he was not from France, but from Luxembourg, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Also, <laughs> France is simply the destination ranked number one on earth for the number of tourists. Oui, number one. How does it come that no French city has ever organized a world content? Well, we have to admit that the French fandom has not been used to massively participate in international science fiction events such as the big conventions here, but this is evolving rapidly, just following L'Encontre 3, several French friends originating from the whole country and even Geneva in Switzerland who did not know well each other before felt that it was time to write a new page in the history of European and world science fiction. After several meetings in France, in particular during the French festival Utopial in Nantes, and a first and a fan table at Sasquan, our team is now ready to present a decent bid. Time. I will give James 15 seconds for the Irish French accent. Tell me, when to, tell me when to go. 15 seconds, go. Although none of us have ever been a member of a Worldcon organization yet, all six have a strong background in the French fandom. We are part of the French Amy and bid for Eurocon 2018. Finally, we want to state that after Luncon 2014, Helsinki in 2017, hopefully Dublin in 2019, a 2023 Worldcon bid in France, a Worldcon in France, we're talking about the importance of European fandoms and in international science fiction. Thank you. All right. Anybody else for 23? Jay. 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 Anybody else for 23? Anybody for 24? I'll go. I always go by myself. <laughs> Two score and one year ago, our former Smoths brought forth onto our nation's capital a convention. We shall try to do this one more time and win. 
What year was that? 24? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right. Which nation's capital? Considering it was as close as I get to the Gettysburg Address. So Canada. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. <laughs> Go. Go. Blow me. Match gasoline and oh my god. Go. <laughs> Can we get a beat? All right, go. What is this? Three weeks ago at NovaCon in Nottingham, England, Alice Lawson, who is the co-chair of Lung Country, announced that a group had been set up to explore bidding for a United Kingdom Worldcon in 2024. The group, started by Emma England, Esther McCollum Stewart, Vanessa May, and myself, is now actively seeking and welcome people to join and widen discussion. It's growing rapidly. In those last three weeks, we've been joined by various people, including Colin and Emily, on the discussion group, along with a total of 40 people. It's just a discussion group. It's just early days. But to become part of this discussion group, if you're interested, there is an email, futureukworldcons at googlegroups.com. Everyone is absolutely welcome to join into a discussion about the future of a UK Worldcon. Finally, I should say, there you will see the Flame Nebula. It's an emission nebula in the constellation Orion. It's 900 to 1500 light years away. It is, of course, designated NGC 2024. All right, thank you. Okay, do we have any, well, I'm gonna put it this way. 2024 is 10 years in the future. Anybody further than 10 years in the future, all I'm gonna ask you to do is raise your hands in Yellow City. Is there anybody out there? Havana. Havana. 2025, 2025 in Havana, okay. Nasvik. Nasvik in Havana, there you go. Hannibal. 